Yes. Hey, what do you think happens to us after we die? Uh, reincarnation. All right. Do you believe there is a God? I believe there is a God. Yeah, so I guess it makes sense that after we die, he judges us based on how we've lived. So are you a good person? Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't think that everyone's good. Right. So for example, I feel like I, have you ever lied before? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, me too. I've lied. Have you ever stolen something? Um, not going to lie, yes. Yeah, yeah, me too. What about this one? Have you ever used bad words? Yes. Yeah, so if if God was to judge you based on those things, would you be innocent or guilty? I mean, like, I'm pretty sure, like, a lot of people in the world do those things. Yeah, that's true, but that's still not an excuse. Just like if a police officer pulled you over for speeding, and you said, officer, everyone speeds, he's going to say, so what? You still sped, here's your fine. Right? Yeah. So, if we've done those things wrong, should we be rewarded or punished for the sins that we've done? I mean... I'm not really sure. Okay, if, uh, you, if you're found guilty in a court of law, would the, would the judge punish you or reward you? Uh, punish. Right, so if we've done things wrong in God's sight, then... We don't really get rewarded, do we? We actually get punished by him, which means not heaven, but actually hell. So what do you think you could, what, what could you do to not get sent to hell? Um, I'm not sure. What? what we actually need is somebody who'd be willing to take our hell punishment for us. But it's got to be someone perfect. So do you know of anyone who's lived perfectly? No one's perfect. Right, except one person, and that was Jesus. Why did he die on the cross? For to forgive our sins or something? Right, I'm exactly. Sure. Basically, take the very punishment we deserve in hell. He said he'll take it for us on the cross. So if he takes your punishment for you, where would you go when you die? Heaven? Right. So based on what you've just heard, what's the reason you'll go to heaven? For, um, honestly, I forgot. I'm okay, sorry. so if Jesus takes your punishment for you, as you said, you go to heaven. So why are you going to heaven? Yeah. Because Jesus took my punishment. Exactly. Spot on. And so it's... the only thing you have to do then to get to heaven is to simply trust that he's already taken your punishment for you. So you don't have to work for it, you don't have to earn it, but you just have to trust that he's done it for you. So let's say you did that today. You trusted that he took your punishment, but then you do another sin tomorrow, and you die two minutes later. Would you go to heaven or hell? Heaven. Yeah, and why? Because Jesus took my punishment away. Exactly. Yeah, that's comforting, isn't it? Yeah. So the big question Thank for you. you is this. When are you going to trust that Jesus took the punishment for all of your sins? Well, just now, I guess. <laughs> it makes sense to, doesn't it? Hey, because we don't know how long yeah. we have left. Now, once you trust that he died for your sin, does that mean you can therefore just do whatever you want? Um, no. No, and why would you not want to? Well, like... There's some things that can't be, like, taken away, like punishments, I guess. Yeah. Right, but if he takes the punishment for our past and our future sins already, it's, yeah. it's not like that is, it makes you avoid heaven, but if it already cost Jesus his life to save you, would you want to keep on adding more punishment onto him by doing more sins? No. No, and so out of gratitude, it's going to cause you to start living how he wants you to, not because you have to, but because you want to. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 And so, let's say you're standing before God today. God asks you, why should I let you into heaven? What would you say? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, think back. What do you have to do to get to heaven? Be forgiven. Yeah, how do you get forgiveness?
uh, a priest, I guess. No, no, because remember we needed someone to take our punishment. I'll show you this picture. Mm -hmm. Let's say this is you here. This is your hell punishment. It's coming straight towards you. What's Jesus doing? Blocking all that off. Right. So if he takes your punishment for you, where do you go when you die? Heaven. So what's the reason you're going to heaven? Because of Jesus. Right. So with that in mind, if God asks you, why should I let you into heaven, what would you say? Because Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. He's taking your punishment for you. And and God would say, welcome to heaven. All of your sins have been paid for in full. Do you get that? Hmm. Yeah. And so, if you trust that Jesus took your punishment for you from today on, how sure can you be that you're going to heaven? Uh, well, I, I don't. How sure? Would you be 50% sure? Would you be 80%, 100%? What do you think? 100%. Yeah, exactly right. And why 100%? Because Jesus took all the stuff I did. Yeah, exactly I right. And so, now that you know that, I guess what you'd want to do is you'd actually want to make Jesus your number one in your life. If you know he's made the biggest sacrifice for you, you want to put him first, and therefore you actually even want to learn more about him. And what's a good way you could mm -hmm. learn more about Jesus? Uh, reading the Bible. Yeah. Do you have a Bible at home? Uh, yes. Yeah, it's... when's the last time you read it? Not a long time, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Only... Well, yeah. I'd encourage you, man, get into your Bible every day. Just like every day you eat food, every day you have your spiritual food, and that's going to help you grow in your faith and help you stay on the right path. And I'd encourage you to start in the book of John, which is in the second half of the Bible. Start from John because it gives you a good introduction to what Jesus said and what he did. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And so, if God asks you the question, why should I not send you to hell for every single sin that you've done, what would you say? Because Jesus took the blame, I yeah. guess. Or exactly. Sins. So how do you think your life will change? Now, that you, if you're going to trust that from today, how do you yeah. think your life will change? A lot. Yeah. And even what practices do you think you'll change in terms of in, in your life? If you know that he's paid for your sin, you now love him, how would you how will you live differently? Um well start like not doing as much sins. Yeah. So yeah. Jesus said. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, and in fact, not that you'll be perfect, but you'll find yourself getting better and better resisting your sins as time goes on. Because you've had like a heart change, right? You now love the things you once hated and you now hate the things you once loved, right? You'll, you'll find yourself um, being more obedient as time goes on. And I'm sure you yeah. know family or friends who are not yet trusting that Jesus paid for their sin. And so if those people died today, where would they go? Uh... I'm not sure. Okay, so if they haven't trusted that Jesus paid for their sin, that means Jesus hasn't taken their punishment. So where do they go then? Hell. Yeah. And so since you don't want them to go to hell, what could you do to help them not go there? Uh, send the word around. Yes. Yeah. Just like you've, you tonight have been yeah. able to hear the way to heaven by someone sharing it with you, you can pass the word on to others. So they can hear about Jesus, believe in him, and be saved.